Hey guys, it's Sankan again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, we're going to start on a little series that I'm going to do um, with the mod Tekkit. Now I'm going to be trying to keep these videos short, so let's dive straight into it. On the menu in front of you, you'll see a list of options. There are a few briefings on equivalent exchange, red power, and industrial craft at the start of this video. But if you're familiar with these mods, please feel free to skip onto the invention section. The first mod that we're going to go over briefly is Equivalent Exchange. Now Equivalent Exchange generates energy as you can see here and we can turn this energy into new matter, in this case we're just turning it into the highest form of coal, the highest purity of coal, it's Aetanol's fuel. Now this EMC, or energy, generates from the sun. So if we block out the light completely by placing a block of dirt on top, notice how the energy isn't increasing anymore and the sun dial there is black. If we remove the dirt block and then look back into the energy condenser we can see that it's generating energy again and this has a uh, glowing sun representation on it. So, what can we do with this energy? Well, the first thing that we can do is we can get our energy collector here and we can put it into a relay here. Now, this will store much more energy and you can surround this relay by energy collectors so you get more energy per tick. The other advantage of the relay is you can actually burn items and turn them into EMC as well. So, if we look at this here, this relay is turning these redstone lamps into energy, as shown. This bar up here represents the amount of energy inside the relay, as does this bar in the energy collector. Well, with this combination of energy collectors and energy relays, we can turn that energy into diamonds with this energy condenser here, and this is mainly what I'll be using in my invention. So as we can see here, these items are being fed into this energy condenser through a red power pipe. We'll get onto those in a second. But we can see that this energy is being co converted into gravel. So these cobblestones which are being dropped in here are getting turned straight into gravel. Now when we have enough gravel, we can also turn this, this gravel here straight into saplings if we wanted to. And we can could carry on going up and if we really wanted we can go with eight and fuel and they'll take forever. Now we're going to be moving on to the red power section. The first thing that we're going to be going over is pneumatic tubes, which is pipes in red power. And these these things send items to the closest inventory. So for example if we were taking items out of this iron chest here and coming down this pipe here, which chest would the items land in? If you said the gold chest, then you are correct, because that is the closest chest to the iron block. There is also a thing called a filter, and what a filter does is firstly it filters specific items but it can also drag whole stacks out of a chest so let's just drag a whole stack here by pressing this button and we note a whole stack went in however now let's just put in uh, two cobblestone into this and we'll remove this we press the button and we note that only two cobblestone came out. Now, if we put in uh, dirt into the filter, note that there's no dirt inside this chest here. So when we press the button, it'll try to pull out dirt, but there's no dirt in here, so it won't pull out anything. The final thing that we're going to go over in red power is these two things here. This thing is a timer, and what it does is it just makes a redstone pulse every two seconds, or and you can change this to every one second, every 12 seconds, 
10 seconds, anything that you want. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go with one second. This thing here is called red alloy wire, and it works exactly the same as redstone. However, it can go up walls and it can go on the ceiling as well. So let's just see that. Now the only thing that I'm going to be doing with Industrial Craft 2 in this video is I'm going to be showing you sort of like this sort of setup here. So this here is a generator and what it does is it generates electricity from uh, coal or coal coke or whatever you want. So any fuel that you put in there will generate electricity. This electricity can get stored inside a bat box. And then this is a macerator, and what a macerator does is it grinds things up into powder. So if we just put a one blaze rod in there, we'll see that this bar gradually fills up, and once it's filled, after 20 seconds, it'll produce five blaze powder. So here we go, it gave five blaze powder. However, this is also very slow. So what we can also do is we can use these overclocker upgrades. Now what these do is they speed up the macerator, but also it requires much more of this energy or this electricity. So this bat box here will reduce much faster. Next we're going to proceed on to the invention side of this video. Now this is the invention. Note that five that um, one blaze rod produces a five blaze powder also notice that only two blaze powder so one two will produce one blaze rod so notice that when we macerate one blaze rod we get two and a half blaze rods back this is the main principle that this works off what we have here is we have a filter pulling a single blaze rod out of this energy condenser here. Here we have a filter which pulls the stack of blaze powder from here out and then back into this energy condenser. This macerator is being powered via this bat box which is being powered by a solar panel. Do note that this design is not stable with only one solar panel. It's very stable with a low voltage uh, solar array, but not with a solar panel. So you would just ho hook up your general network of um, things here. You, you could also use a generator here, I suppose, and that's what I use in my own world. Now on its own, this produces about one diamond every two minutes, and that's uh, 0 0.0083 diamonds per second. However, as we saw in the tutorial section, we can put overclockers on, which will speed up the process of the macerator and then therefore give us more diamonds per second. So with the maximum of 16 overclockers you'll get 0.06 diamonds per second or a diamond every 15.5 seconds. With 5 overclockers, which is a relatively fast macerating process, we get 1 diamond every 21 seconds. and um, this can be ran from a back box, which is one of the great things about it, and it can have 0.048 die per second, or diamonds per second, and that's with five overclockers. Now the great thing about this design is it's 100% tileable. If you remember in the tutorial section, these pneumatic tubes send items to the nearest inventory, and therefore you don't need a cover between these two things. Covers separate the pipes if you didn't know already. So as you saw just then, the filter here pulled out a single blaze rod and it pushed it into the closest inventory. Note that this here is the closest inventory for this filter and it will not go along to here and then over to here unless this macerator here is full. However this macerator won't get full because we have set it up so the amount of time it takes to macerate one blaze rod is the amount of time that um, it takes for this filter to pulse. 
<laughs> Every time this filter over here pulses and a new blaze rod is dis distributed into this macerator over here, these filters over here, which suck out one blaze rod, will also go off. And then they'll send these blaze rods into an energy condenser here to create diamonds. So the great part about this is this is actually turning your EU that you've generated from your electrical system into EMC, which you can use to make diamonds or whatever material you want. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit unusual, it being um, on the te Technic pack and everything, and, you know, I'm generally a vanilla player, but if you've liked this video, please give it a like and your whatever you want to do and stuff like that, and I'll see you next time for the next video. Click here to see Saw, my semi-automatic wheat farm. Click here to see my automatic mechanical minecart station. And click here to be updated with my future content. Thanks for watching!